we've dropped in to see the guys from Dugard and find out about the Hanwha sliding machine. Now, you might not have heard these, hopefully you have, but in a nutshell, if you haven't heard the Hanwha sliders, Colin, tell me all about them. Why would I buy one? Well, you're getting a very uh, flexible machine tool, sliding head lathe, uh, very competitively priced in the marketplace. Engineers always like that. We all like that when it comes down to the final bits, make them pay for themselves. Um, but also, the main thing is they're very scalable for your business. We've got a lot of options on the machines that we can add on as we go along. So if I buy one of these, say this machine here, and I need more tooling, be it driven, non-driven, whatever? It's not a problem. The machine is very flexible. We can actually add driven tools at any point, any job you need, we can add as we go. So it's not a problem with the upfront cost we can spread it over the life of the machine for you. Right. Okay, what about the size of machines? Because what size is this and what does your range go to and from? This actual machine is a 38mm uh, machine. It's called an XD38R. It can take 40mm bar without any bar preparation or any adjustment to the machine. Um, from the range of the handwire machines we actually have, we start at 3mm diameter and actually end up at 45mm diameter. So big range. Oh yes, yes, very much. Um, in also, in terms of your controls, you've got the chip control, and how easy is it? And have you thought about what engineers in terms of different cycles? They've thought about all the nice little things that our, us engineers need to make our life easier these days. Uh, on the control, we run FANUC controls, but they've put in some very user macros. When we do uh, subspindle pickup, it's literally filling some uh, simple question blocks, and it puts all the weight codes, all synchronization into the machine for you just by one M code co uh, command. So they really have made it a lot quicker, a lot more easier to use. Thinking about the end user? Indeed. OK, chip control? Yes, we have PCR, programmable chip uh, removal. Uh, the good thing with that is now as well, we can actually use it on screw cutting. Right. Okay, and it's not hard to program, it's very easy. It's easy to control the uh, oscillation of the pitch, of the chip, so we can actually minimise the uh, chip uh, size very, very easily. OK, now I mentioned some people might not have heard of these, but give me an example of a customer who has bought one or even more. Well, we've actually got one customer in particular in Clacton called Dalau. Uh, Dalau is a company that uses machines, nothing but plastic. OK, uh, come to us for a solution on the job they had, uh, currently being made on a fixed head and around about two hours. We actually got that down on this current machine to just over 15 minutes. Wow. Yeah, so a lot of cost savings and the machine's paid for itself, but that customer has now gone on and actually purchased and installed his fifth hand wire in seven months. I sense a visit from MTD coming very soon I on that one. I do believe it, so uh, again lined up for you. Okay, and other little niceties on the machine that you've thought about the engineer. Yeah. No, there's a lot of niceties on this machine. It's little things like the drip tray underneath the door, so when you're in setting the tools, you don't have coolant hitting the engineer on the head. Also, in front of the machine, you see there's a slight lip around the edge of the machine. That's actually designed there as a return for any oil that drips out of the door, so that you don't have it dripping onto the floor, making puddles, making a mess. It's all designed about good housekeeping and making sure the engineer is in a safe environment and clean. Brilliant. So, ultimately, really rethought. Really it's a great machine, solid. Uh, very, very heavy. This is one of the heaviest in its class. And the door is, I mean, just the feel of the door. It's, yeah, it's true built, nice engineered. Yeah, and powerful as well. Uh, yes, yeah, seven and a half kilowatts. Yeah. So you've got a lot of power there to handle all the materials you want to need. So, Colin, in the nice old think it's just a great machine if you've got a slide in there. Definitely, there definitely. Colin, thank you very much. See you, do guard and the Hanwha slide head range of machines.